Hey peeps, Mia Gracie here, and this is a pretty sad episode from season 6, the third episode, uh, 2015, aired on October 25th, 2015, I should say. Uh, this video is about how Glenn may or may not have died, ways that he could have got out of the situation, how it could have been prevented, and probably what was going through their minds. Um, so let's just get started. A uh, little backstory real quick, just for some information. I, when I started watching The Walking Dead, I started, like, the beginning of the year, because my dad and Still Cage went to, like, the Walking Dead convention, so I got a hat signed from the writer. I think he did the comic books. I think he made the comic books. Uh, he signed my hat, so I was like, okay, now I have to watch The Walking Dead. I was already a little into it, but anyways, so I watched all the way up, and I started watching the fifth season, but by the time I was done, I wasn't watching it on a weekly basis, so I never had to wait for an episode. So this is the first season that I've actually waited for episodes, and none of their deaths have really been a big shock because I already knew who died. Um, yeah, I knew all the way up until Beth, except for like Lori, I think Lori and Merle, I didn't know that they died, but basically everybody else I was like, okay, they're going to die. So up until Beth, I didn't know anybody was going to die. So this is like the first death that I've seen, um, and I just have to wait for the next episode because I've never had to wait for the next episode. So anyways, let's just get on to this video, and um, yeah, pretty sad. If you cry while watching this, you, it, I don't blame you. All right. So right here, as you can see, they're just, they're getting up on this trash bin, and I'm going to rewind it a little bit, and I will pause it. Okay, so they're in this huge situation where all these walkers are coming. They're split up from their group with Michonne and some of the people from uh, Alexandria, and these walkers are just going to eat them up if they don't do anything. They don't have a lot of bullets, but let's stop there. Alright, a few ways they can get out of this. One, they can jump the fence. So it's not that bad of a jump. I mean, they can make it. I mean, they would have to do a little bit of parkour. But yes, they could jump over it. Now, I don't know if there's walkers on the other side. But, I mean, come on. That's their best choice right now. Also, there is walkers on the other side, if you didn't notice. If you haven't seen the episode. There is a ladder. There's a ladder right there like steps to a building so I mean some way or how if like Nicholas just fell down possibly um, Glenn could have got to there when I say Nicholas fell down I just mean like when he blew his head off if he wouldn't have fell on Glenn Glenn could have possibly got to the um, steps because they'd be distracted but it'd still be hard but yeah best chance jump over the fence all right, over here, maybe the roof, it'd be a really big jump, but also another possibility. I wanted to point out their shirts. They're basically dressed the same way. Here's Glenn's shirt. It is lighter. I am sorry that it's blurry, but it's darker on top and lighter at the bottom. And here's Nicholas' shirt. I know it's not that very well. They did really good to try to like make sure you couldn't, like, point out everything. I think they purposely made it seem like, did Glenn die? Did he not? But here's Nicholas' shirt, and it is dark at the top, but it's kind of like tanner, like darker than Glenn's. Alright, so I wanted to point out some of their emotions. Um, I think Glenn is just trying to keep cool, like, okay, we're in this bad situation. They'll keep together. But Nicholas is just freaking out, and you can see that his, like, <laughs> he's he's out of it like he can't focus I don't know if it's like a situation that he's been in before if he's just scared but I mean think about it <sighs> hundreds of walkers are coming after you and he he yeah just look at the face and Glenn finally realized hey Nicholas pay attention it's okay we'll get out of this
Alright, I'm gonna cut it there because I don't want to get too many copyrights. Um, yeah, all this film is from AMC, The Walking Dead. Now, I think Nicholas was one, just get it over with, I'm done, forget me. You know, he's a coward, basically, and everybody knows it. So, basically, I think he's trying to say, well, I'm done, but thank you for all that you've done. Thank you for, like, even forgiving me and sticking up for me and all that. So, boom! And I think it was partly a sacrifice for Glenn to say, hey, let me just sacrifice myself, but let me not be in pain while it happens to me. While I get teared apart, I should say. Alright, now, uh, here's Glenn seeing Nicholas just shoot bullet right through his head. There's blood splattered on Glenn, and I think he's also thinking, whoa, this guy just died. This guy that I got on for, like, basically murdering Noah and this and that, and it's just done. He's gone. Like, he's in shock. Okay, cut it there, slow motion. So, Nicholas is falling on Glenn, back onto Glenn's chest, and Glenn falls, he's hurt, obviously. Now, Nicholas may or may not still be on Glenn. Nicholas may be the one that's about to be torn apart um, when it comes, still in slow motion. And Glenn could just be witnessing it. So they may, the walkers may be distracted on Nicholas, but still there's a really high chance that they're going to get Glenn as well. Um, it's really hard to say. When I first saw this scene, I thought, no, Nicholas is just on Glenn. Glenn's not really dying. No way. This can't be happening. And my mom was watching with me, and she said, if he's really dead, I'm not watching anymore, like most people. So this may be Nicholas being torn apart, but as you see, Glenn pulls up his shoulder. So it looks like almost like Glenn could get away, but at the same time, it looks like he's in so much pain, or he's just so sad right now, he can't believe what he's seeing. Because the only time that he ever saw anybody being torn apart was Noah. Any other time, because I actually looked over the whole entire season, Glenn never sees anybody being torn apart, like actually physically, I mean, not physically, actually seeing anybody being torn apart. He just knows that it's happened. Alright, so I put this in slow motion and look very closely where his shoulder is. He adjusts his shoulder so it looks like almost like he can get away, but not quite. Um... But yeah, he's still laying here, and I'm not sure if he's just giving up, if he knows that he's just dead. Um, yeah, very sad. I'm, I'm sorry that I had to put this in slow motion, because it is sad to see someone like Glenn being torn apart. And you can see there that, th th like, you can't tell if it's him or not. You do see his head right there fall back, I believe. I will stop it and rewind it for you. Then again, where all the blood is, is lower from where his head is, and it looks a little bit more above, so it could still be Nicholas. One prediction I recently saw was that Glenn could jump into the garbage bin and hide there until he has rescue. Which is actually what my mom said when they were running to the bin before they had so many walkers at them to jump into the bin. Which is not that bad of an idea. I mean, who knows, there could be a walker in there, but, I mean, it'd be kind of crazy to throw a dead body into, like, a garbage bin in the first place. But still, it'd be hiding out of sight, out of mind. Plus, what they could have did was fire a gun, um, like, really loud, just, like, keep firing it or something to get more attention. Again, looking back at this, it still looks a bit higher than his chest. Obviously, they made it this angle, that way we can't tell, and that way we keep watching The Walking Dead to see what happens. But I, I really can't tell if he's sad or if he's in pain, and ugh, his walker's disgusting. Um, 
Enough with the footage, let's just go on to other theories. Alright, so here's some more theories. This is the end of the video. I know this is long, but I mean, we can go on and on about he's dead or he's alive or what could really happen. But I do want to point out, when I was watching it, obviously I was very still. But when I went to commercial, I said to my mom, Maggie literally has no one left. Her family has died from when they kept it into the barn to the part where they split up to Herschel dying, to Maggie, I'm not Maggie, duh, to Beth dying, and now Glenn, and she literally has nobody, so I'm just thinking, how is she going to take this? She's already wanted to end her life, like, is this really worth it? And without Glenn, who is she anymore? So I just want you guys to keep that in mind, but another theory, which I did comment I don't want to put his theory down at all. Um, I think it's not that bad. I just don't want to get anybody's hopes up. That's why I'm back and forth of maybe or maybe not. I don't know. But they said that uh, Glenn, Stephen um, is his real name, his contract with The Walking Dead is not over yet and that he's actually been on set still. But I did comment saying, well, he could still be on set because he might need to do some things um, for like a backflash or something like that because they keep having black ugh, can't talk anymore they keep having backflashes so it could be that um but they did say that their con that his contract seemed like nowhere near to the end i don't know i don't know all about that there's tons of like you know tons of things that you can look up there's people's reactions to and you can watch this footage over and over and over. I will link in the description where you could see the full video. Again, none of these videos or pictures are actually mine. I'm just using them for my video. But I mean, yeah, I don't know. And I kind of don't want to know until next week. I want to keep it a mystery and I don't want my hopes up, like I said, just because Glenn is just this character and I feel like everybody can relate to him in certain levels. And, you know, he tries to be there for people. He always tries to keep your hopes up. And I feel like since if Glenn really is dead, that's just really going to, like, what is it going to do to the rest of his group? Is it going to make them stronger? Is it going to make them weaker? Is it going to make them be like, okay, we really need to get this together because, like, these wolf head people have came. I don't know. Also a big thing if he's dead Nicholas you know he he killed himself and he did it right in the head so he cannot come back as a walker Glenn can and if Glenn becomes a walker it's gonna be probably as much of a terrible sight as actually seeing him be torn apart from the walkers but if Michonne or Maggie or you know like, if he comes back, and there won't be a lot left from him, because there's so many walkers, but if he comes back and they just see, like, his head or something of him being turned into a walker, it's going to be a terrible sight, and it could be traumatizing. Alright, well, that's all I got for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, because I really do appreciate it. I put a lot of effort into this video and um comment below do you think he's alive or do you think he's dead what's your predictions go ahead and tell me um, mia garcia signing off i'll guess i see you next week peace